Chimimanda Adichie did a TED Talk back in July of 2009 on the danger of a single story. That talk has stuck with me since I first heard it in the 8th grade. Every person you meet has a story to tell. You just have to have the courage to ask them to tell it. Every person who has ever crossed your path has had an array of stories that make up who they are, but no one ever asks about what they are. When you meet someone, it generally goes like this. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good. You? I'm good. My name is... and so on. But no one ever asks, what is your story? Why? Is it considered rude? Invasive? It takes years of knowing a person before you figure out their stories, but you still never ask them for it. The person will eventually tell you when they trust you. And of course, it takes a certain amount of trust before you're willing to share things with people. It's a defense system. But it never hurts to ask. Studies show that a person's favorite topic of conversation is themselves. Talking about oneself activates the same areas of the brain that light up when eating good food or taking drugs. Why don't people ask dates to tell them stories about themselves? It would spark a good memory in their mind about you. Odds are, if you let the person talk a lot about themselves, they will think you're fascinating. There's a classic cliche saying, don't judge a book by its cover. Of course, that's true and all, but in order to not judge a person, you have to think about what has happened in their past or what is running through their mind at that very moment. I wanted to experiment with this idea of storytelling. I wanted to learn more about my friends, so I went up to a few of them and asked them a simple question. Tell me your story. One time, I came home from a competition and I thought my lizard was dead, but he wasn't. I gave him CPR and he is alive now. And then a couple of weeks ago, I had to bury him because he died, because he's hungry. <laughs> so for my 15th birthday, which was this year, my big present, which I got, um, was from my family and it was tickets to Shawn Mendes' Glendale concert. So, and Shawn Mendes is very dear to me. I love him so much. He's definitely my favorite um, pop artist ever. And um, so we got to go to Glendale for a while and chill out and we got to go see Shawn Mendes, which was definitely one of the best aspects of my year or my summer, definitely. And um, I cried when he came on stage. I love him so much. But yeah, so that was definitely the best part of my summer. So, last week I went to Disneyland with my dad and we went on this ride called Space Mountain and I noticed that there was a single rider so I went on that because my dad hates that ride but anyways I went on it four times and the third time it broke we were going through and we suddenly get to this stop and we stop but all the lights turn on and I look around and say how am I supposed to get out of here and I have to watch the workers push us through the ride and they fixed it so we got to go again. The end. Okay. Um, there's this guy who lives in my apartment complex and he's kind of creepy. And every time I take my dog out, he like messes with my dog or he messes with me. And it's just like weird. And he's like middle-aged. And so like, I'm on the second floor, yeah? And so yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, I was, I saw him. He was taking out the trash. He saw me and he waved through the window and it was weird. <laughs> and so I flipped out and I like moved away from the window. And then like, um, and then he left and then I closed my blinds and that was that. <sighs> so one time, you know, I was just minding my own business. I was with my best friend RJ and we were going water skiing. It was great, it was great. I'd never done it before. So he handed me the skis, I put them on my feet. He threw me in the water, I stood up, and I gave him the thumbs up to drive really fast, you know, the boat and everything. And then I did a splits. It was very painful, and I, I screamed. So, I don't know, I guess the reason why I kind of started, you know, taking freshmen under my wing and everything is, um, because whenever I was a freshman, I, like, transitioning into high school, I never really got that opportunity to really connect with someone. At least not on, like, a deeper level. No one really came up to me and talked to me, asked me you know, any questions about me. So that's what I just did with a lot of my friends now. I just kind of went up to them and then they, <laughs> I went up to them, talked, and then they just kind of, they more adopted me than I did them, really and truly. So they're some of my best friends now and I don't regret it at all. Uh, I broke my arms in fourth grade. Uh, I jumped off a swing and I fell flat on my face on wood chips and I broke both of my arms and I cried, yeah.
Okay, so one time I was in Wisconsin and I was on a um, boat, right? And my cousin, for some whatever reason, just decided to dive into the water. And so my whole family was like so confused that we stopped the boat immediately and picked him up. And he was like, why'd you pick me up? I saw a fish. And we were like, what are you gonna do with a fish? He was like, I was gonna catch it. Okay, so when I was in preschool, my friend was singing at the wrong time when we were singing around, so I slapped him. I learned more about my friends in this two week experiment than I have in years of knowing them. It really shows what you can do by asking a simple question. I let my friends interpret the question as they pleased, though they were obviously confused. It's an odd request. I understand that, but as stated before, people love talking about themselves. I feel like I grew closer to my friends as I heard these stories. I learned more about them as people and got to see a part of them that is not as easy to show. Now, I didn't ask them for their life stories or anything. They told me what they wanted to tell me, happy stories, sad stories, scary stories, or just straight up weird stories. Asking people questions is scary. It always is. It is a part of, of a form of anxiety, and it's difficult to be able to round up the courage to ask a person for something. Asking questions is how you get closer to a person. It's how you learn more about them. It's as simple as that. I'm not making this video to tell you how to live your life or how to change the way you move through the world, but I thought I might as well tell this story the stories of my friends, the stories they were willing to share with me and with you. The reason I'm making this video is to reinvent the term of a single story. I really hope what you take from this is that you'll start asking for stories or even sharing your own stories rather than just asking how a person's day is. Make conversations fun. Make them a way to learn about people. Share your stories. Don't wait to ask a person to talk with you. But, no. Have you ever been to Kurgerbing? Thank you for coming.